Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of all of these designs. Um, since this is going to be a bit longer of a video, I'm going to go ahead and say at the beginning, uh, for the first minute or two, I'm going to be talking about the script in general and some more general rules. And then most of the middle of this video is me going to be going through letter by letter and pointing out how these things say what they say. And then the last minute or two is going to be me uh, talking a bit about some uh, tattoo tips and uh, things that uh, you should probably share with your tattoo artist um, as the dog tries to break down the door. Anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about the script. So these designs were done in Lauren Sherman's script, which uses a combination of dots and lines on these four different stems to make our consonants. And vowels are a bit trickier. They're these smaller circles, and they have different positions depending upon what vowel they are and if they're attached on one of these four consonant stems. Um, and uh, punctuation is not a thing in this design because it's just a bunch of names. <laughs> so uh, let's talk a bit about uh, sentence structure and uh, how you read it. So you read the script bottom counterclockwise. So if we were to read this as a word, we would start with uh, this letter here because it's at the bottom. And it is the O uh, by itself just on the line of the word circle. And then we have a deep divot. So this first stem with an O on it, like a beat on a string and then a uh, J stem or a circle inside the word circle with an O on it, and then a shallow divot with an O on it, and then a circle on the line of the circle with an O on it. Uh, so yeah, if you were to read this as a word, it would be O, Bo, Jo, To, Tho, because bottom counterclockwise. And you also read sentences bottom counterclockwise too, except sentences a lot are a lot more free flowing. Um, if there is a sentence circle around the sentence, so like here we have this sentence circle going around this sentence, uh, you read bottom counterclockwise inside the sentence circle, and then you read the sentences in a rough bottom counterclockwise order. So in this, there is no uh, clear bottom counterclockwise circle, though there are some sentence circles in here, well, specifically one, this guy here, which is actually the same name and changed very, very little. I managed to sneak that one in there. Um, so this would be read bottom counterclockwise, and this would be read in the general flow of the design, starting at the bottom. So this would be the first word that we read. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and get into the letter by letter. So again, these are names, and uh, they're, uh, these names are then written individually, and these are then written uh, together as one design. So this says the same thing as this. So anyway, uh, this uh, these are laid out so that the family names are kind of up towards, so when this is going to be a tattoo, it's going to be along the side of the person, and these are up towards the chest, across the ribs, so kind of close to the person's heart, and then uh, the names of the cats are going to keep adding on down the side of their body and even onto their leg, so there can be room for an army of cats. <laughs> so anyway, this is the first word we read, bottom of the word circle. We have this uh, circle, uh, this deep divot circle, so it's this stem here, so it's a more than 50% completed circle, and there's one line moving on it, this thick line right here. So that one line makes it a G, continuing around. Then we have this shallow divot here, so it's this stem, and I'm sorry about this probably getting a little grainy in the video uh, as it gets small, but anyway, there's that shallow divot here, and there are three dots, so that would be an R, because one, two, three dots. And then we have outside the word circle an A. So this A is a little bit closer to this word circle than this word circle, so it's red for this word circle, so that's an A outside the word circle. And then we have this uh, circle inside the word circle, and there's one, two, three, four dots closest to that. So these three dots are closest to that R, and these four dots make this a C. And this letter C is special. You only use this letter C if it is part of a proper noun, which it is. This is the name, Gracie. Um, and then we have a stack stem inside that. So we have a uh, double line for this vowel. And since the lines are two different thicknesses, so we have a thin one and a thick one, that means they're two different vowels. So we read the thin one first and then the thick one. So this thin one has a line coming towards the middle. So eyes go towards the middle, so that is an I, and then an E inside that. So G, R, A, C, I, E. And then if we find our Gracie on this one, here's our Gracie. Bottom of the word circle, deep divot with one line, just like this deep divot with one line. And then we have a shallow divot with one, two, three dots, just like this shallow divot with three dots. And then this A is actually closer to this word, so it's part of the J-A-N-E. Um, and this is the actual A on the Gracie name. And then one, two, three, four dots on the C, and then the I, with the line going towards the middle, and then the E. So Gracie, Gracie, and then we have this word, bottom of the word circle. We have this circle inside the word circle. 
And if we follow the line of that circle, everything passes through it. So this stem passes through it, this line passes through it, and ends on the other stem. So this has got no modifiers actually on it. So these lines only count if they end on it. But anyway, we have this uh, circle inside the word circle with no modifiers. So that's a J. Continuing around, here's that A outside the word circle. And again, these guys are really close. But uh, this is actually touching here, and it's not touching there. It's a little thing, I know. Plus, the thin line kind of makes your eye draw towards this word, whereas the thick line makes it draw towards that stem. So this vowel goes here, and this vowel goes here. So anyway, J, A, continuing around. Here we have a sh uh, circle inside the word circle with one line ending on it. That thick one ends on that stem. So that would be an N. And then lastly, we have that thick E there. So J, A, like we talked about before, N. E. So that would be Jane. And then we have our next name, bottom of the word circle here. And this is... The dogs are breaking in. Okay, whatever. Um, so we have bottom of the word circle. Um, we have this shallow divot here, except it never crosses the middle. So we don't read this one first because it doesn't cross that middle plane. I'm gonna go have to... Ow! Dog! Ow! Now I gotta go close the door. I apologize. Ooh. Yay, dogs. Okay, so back to it. So we were talking about uh the uh this stem and how it doesn't cross the middle so it's not the one you read first so this is the bottom of the word circle and this is the first actual stem we hit and there's a lot of lines passing through this and a lot of lines ending on it but let's go through it this one passes through so it doesn't count this one ends on it because you would see that little line going behind it here if it didn't end on it so there's one and this one definitely ends on it and then that same one there ends on it there as well so one two three and this one passes through. So that would be three lines on a circle inside the word circle, so that's an M. So M is our first uh, letter of this name. Continuing around here, I have an A closest to that. So M, A. And then we have another A that's tricky because it's touching this word circle, but not touching this word circle, so it goes with this word. So this A is not part of this word, only this A is. So M, A. And then we have this shallow divot with one, two, three dots. R. And then we have this circle inside the word circle with one, two, three dots. And all of the lines either end on the dots or pass through. So L, and then we have an O, like a bead on a string on that L. And then we have a shallow divot with one, two lines. So that would be the W. And then we have the E, that guy we talked about before. So M, A, R, L, O, W, E. So let's go find this on here. So bottom of the word circle. Then very similarly with that uh, W-E being very near the start of the letter, a uh, start of the word, but this M actually being the start. So M, A, and then again, same thing with that A. It's part of this next name, not part of this first name, because it touches here, but it doesn't touch here. R, three dots on that R, continuing around. L with the three dots, O, and then W-E. So there we have that name. And then we have our next name, bottom of the word circle. This A is our first letter, continuing around. One, two, three dots are all closest to this L, so that's an L. Then another O on the L, just like this O on that L. L, O. And then we have a Y, because it's on the line of the word circle with two dots. So Y, one, two, three lines on the S. And then we have an I line going towards the middle and a U line going outwards. And then we have this S. And even though these dots are kind of tricky, if you can tell, uh, because it's hard to tell if they're part of this stem or part of this stem, um, you can't have both dots and lines, so this one definitely has lines, and this one definitely has dots, so these dots must all go here, and these lines go here. So that would be an S at the end of that, so A-L-O-Y-S-I-U-S -S is that name. And here we have bottom of the, uh, here we go. Here we have the A, continuing around L, one, two, three dots on the L, O, two dots on the Y, and then one, two, three lines on the S, I line going towards the middle, U line going outwards, and then one, two, three lines on the S. So there's that one. So uh, we have that name here, and then we have our next name, bottom of the word circle. 
So even though this one lines up with the bottom, it's centered at the top half. So uh, it can't be read first if it's centered at the top half unless it's the first thing you hit uh, if you go counterclockwise and pit it. But if we hit this word circle, we hit this vowel first. So this A is the first letter of this word. Um, this is part of this word. This is part of this word, but this is part of this word. So anyway, we have our A continuing around. Here we have a double line, so it's a double letter, and the lines are the same thickness, so it's the same letter twice. So this is a double N because that thick line ends on it. So we don't need to have twice the modifiers because we know it's the same letter twice because it's the same thickness of line. So double N, and then we have the I line going towards the middle, and then we have the E, so A double N I E. And then here we have A double N, there's that line there, and then the I and then E. And then we have our next name, bottom of the word circle. Here we have the E on the line of the word circle. One, two, three dots on the L. And it's important that we have a little tiny bit of white space between this dot and this circle because I snuck the dots inside the vowels because space. <laughs> um, I was kind of running tight on space in this name. So anyway, this I has a dot in the middle of it, except no vowels ever have dots. Um, so this dot has to be part of the consonant that the vowels inside as well. So anyway, that's the third dot for the L inside the I, and the I has the line going towards the middle, as you do with I's. So A, uh, that's an E, L, I, Y, uh, no, that's a Z, because one, two, three dots. Um, so one, two, three dots on a uh, circle on the line of the word circle is a Z. So E, L, I, Z, A, because it's outside the word circle, like that. And we have a B, shallow divot, no modifiers, E, and then a circle on the line of the word circle with no modifiers. So that's a TH. So E L I Z A B E T H. And then here we have it here E, one, two, three dots L, I, one, two, three dots Z, A, B, E, T, H. So yeah, um, there's the Annie Elizabeth, which, fun fact, uh, my name is Annie Elizabeth, Annie Elizabeth Drehaus. <laughs> So uh, I have written Annie Elizabeth before, <laughs> but it's always different. So anyway, here we have our next word and last cat name. Here it is here. Uh, we have a shallow divot with no modifiers because these lines all pass through it and these dots are close to this stem. So that's just a T. And we have an I line going towards the middle. And you can have this line end here if you want. You can have it keep going if you want. I kind of think that the lines kind of going into space look kind of cool for tattoos. But if you want to end it here, I'll talk about that kind of stuff later at the end of this video. Like I said, for tattoo notes. So anyway, um, here we have the T, I. Then we have another double line, just like this double N. Except this is a double G because it's a shallow divot with one line. Here's that one line there. E in the middle of it. And then we have a shallow divot with three dots. So that would be an R. So T, I, G, G, E, R. And T, I, double G, E, R. And then we have our uh, family names. So, uh, yeah, here's our first of the family names, uh, bottom counterclockwise. So, well, I mean, it's bottom and then follow the pattern for sentences. Um, so anyway, uh, here we have our first name, bottom of the word circle, shallow divot with one, two, three lines. So that is an S, like that. And then this is hard to tell if it's an A or an E on these stems. But if we look at the A's, if we follow the line of the word circle, the A is centered outside the word circle, while an E is centered either on the line of the word circle or towards the middle. So this is an A because if we follow that word circle around, the A is outside of it. And here's another little, little trick. So this, these two lines are concentric, and this is another A, which is clearly outside the word circle. And this is the same thing in the same position. So anyway, so uh, S, A, then we have a B. Deep divot, no modifiers. R, three dots on the shallow divot. I, line going towards the middle. N, one line, circle inside the word circle. And then an A. So S, A, B, R, I, N, A. And then if we find that here, S, A, B, R, I, line going towards the middle. And A. And then we have this, bottom of the word circle. Shallow divot, one, two, three dots. R. Continuing around, E, circle inside the word circle, line going towards the middle, N, uh, the line towards the middle doesn't matter, it just matters the line is on it, um, because it's an N, <laughs> and then uh, these guys pass through so they don't count. Then we have an E inside the N, so that would be an E, 
and then an E at the end of the word. So again, bottom of the word circle. Uh, this crosses the bottom, so it's first, and this doesn't cross the bottom, so it's last. So R-E-N-E-E. -E. And then if we look here, R, three dots on the R, E, N, one line, E, E. So there are, there's our first name, and then our next name, bottom of the word circle. We have a deep divot with no modifiers, so nothing ends on it, so that is just a B. Then we have an E, and we have a shallow divot with no modifiers, and another shallow divot with no modifiers. So that's two T's, and then we have a circle on the line of the word circle, so like this, with one, two dots, so that is a Y, so Betty is our first name. And then we have this name, bottom of the word circle, circle inside the word circle with one, two, three dots, and it's okay to have lines end on dots, uh, they don't count for anything, it's a safe place to end lines, I end one here as well. Anyway, this is an L, because it's got three, line, uh, three dots on it, L, O, and then we have a U, I line going towards the middle, and then one, two, three dots on the shell of it. So we have that thin one here, that thin one there, and then this uh, thicker one going backwards. It still counts because it still ends on it. So S E, so L O U I S E, and then we have uh, the uh, circle inside the word circle with one, two dots, uh, two lines. I'm like starting to lose in it. So that is a P. I has a line going towards the middle. E one, two, three dots on the R. One, two, three, four on the C. And then an E, so that C is done just like this C with the four dots. And again, the C's are for only only for uh, proper nouns or acronyms or things where you shouldn't replace it with an S or a K based on how it sounds. So P I E R C E, and that was done very very similarly to this one. Uh, the only thing I changed was like these divots. So this was actually something I got to reuse, yay! But everything else, these names are different <laughs> in here. I I set them up differently anyway. So. B E T T Y L O U I S E P I E R C E. Alright, and then we have this bottom of the word circle. We have a E, little vowel on the line of the word circle. So that is an E. Then we have a double letter because it's a double line. So just like uh, this double letter and this double letter. So one, two, three dots on that double letter makes it a D, and since it's the same uh, thickness, it's the same letter twice, so that's a D, D, and then we have an I line going towards the middle, E, so here is our uh, E, double D, I line going towards the middle, E, and then we have this last one, bottom of the word circle, one, two, three dots, circle inside the word circle, so that would be an L, E, W, one, two lines, this third one passes through it, so it doesn't count, so one, two lines, so W, I, and then we have a shallow to it with this thick one, because this one stops before it. Two, three, thin one, and then thick one. So that would be an S. So L-E-W-I-S. And here we have it here. Uh, no, that's an Elizabeth. E-D-D-I-E. L-E-W-I-S. So yeah. Um, those are, that. that's what's up. Um, uh, <laughs> so those are the names. Uh, and, okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna talk for the last minute or so about tattoo stuff. So on these individual ones, these outer circles are the sentence circles, and that's where the overlaps can happen. So you can just kind of like stick them on top of each other. So sort of like how I have this here, and then I stuck the word over the sentence circle, that's a safe place to overlap words without actually interfering with the actual words. Um, and I can get rid of it entirely. So this um, Eddie Lewis is really close to this Eddie Lewis, except I changed this line here, just the line on the I, and then a little bit of the balance to make it a little bit uh, nicer, because otherwise this E would have been like right here, and I wanted it in the circle. So anyway, um, yeah, uh, but I totally got rid of this sentence circle, which is something you can do. Um, so yeah, the sentence, this only has one sentence circle line, but the outermost continuous ring going around something is the sentence circle, and that's what you can overlap with. So only overlap the outermost ring, and if there are any big divots in that, you can overlap in that as well, as long as you keep the stuff that goes through the middle going through the middle of that. So like this, I overlapped uh, the word here, but kept the lines. So that outermost ring is where you can overlap stuff. Yay. And then line thickness. So stuff like this, uh, I have some obviously thicker lines and obviously thinner lines. 
Um, the thickness does not matter, except for if there are uh, two concentric lines. Uh, so, like, these two being thin make them the same thickness. But if these two right here and right here, this one's obviously thicker than this one, do try to make that one a little bit thicker, but otherwise it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but that's the only time it, it matters is if they're concentric. Otherwise, this one can be any thickness. This one can be any thickness. It doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah. Uh, another thing. Um, these lines kind of branching out of the design, they don't really matter. Um, you could end them here. You can end this line here or keep it going. Um, this is uh, designed in two parts as well. So uh, uh, this is the first kind of chunk of the design, which goes up towards the ribs. And this is the next chunk of the design, which uh, where the ribs end is where this one is intended to end. And this is meant to go down uh, towards the leg. And like this is the start of like the, the, the hip <laughs> and down onto the leg. Uh, so this is going to be a big one um, and uh, probably two sessions, maybe more, probably two sessions, just one session for this and another session for this. Uh, but yeah, um, that's kind of some rambling. I'm normally a bit more more on the ball, but the dog's broken, so I'm distracted, and I didn't feel like re-recording. So yeah, that's this is that's this explanation video. Hope things kind of make sense a little bit. Uh, and I'm sorry this took so long, but I knew it was gonna be a long one. Bye.